Welcome back to the channel, Sagitnet 2. Another ongoing data collection about the oil pressures, but this time it will be oil temperature. <laughs> I picked up some gauge because I wanted to know what the temperature <laughs> of the oil on a G23 setup. Yeah, someone have mentioned about the uh, since the pressure goes up, the temperature's got to go up too. Again, it hit me like a light bulb. It gave me some thought and said, man, yeah. How come I never thought about that? Especially if you are running a turbocharge on your G23. And this motor, it is known or famous to have a main and rod bearing failure for over revving. And whenever it breaks, we just blame on something else. None of us ever thought about, hey, maybe... Uh, what causes it is the uh, lubrication. Maybe the oil pressures, oil temperature, maybe the lubrication properties of the oil, it already breaks down that it could not function anymore. And that leads to the demise or spinning a bearing. Yeah, it's very interesting. Because I remember when I have a turbocharged motor, that uh, whenever I check the oil, it's like, why is this thing look like water? You know, it's so thin. I always thought maybe it's just too much fuel. That the fuel is just diluting the oil. And I never thought about, wow. It will be interesting that uh, to find out if we do really need an oil cooler, an external oil cooler to be added on on a G23 setup, especially if you are running a turbo. Today's episode is all about the uh, installation of the uh, sensor for the temperature gauge. And I thought about multiple things where I can add this on. I thought about installing it on right at the oil pan by the drain uh, port area. But since the uh, oil pan is being cooled by the ramming air or incoming air I'm just gonna put it here right by the oil pump right here and it will have plenty of uh, oil to pass through right there I already put some threading here I'm going to put this here. Then I'm going to create a thread here all the way through. And then I'm going to thread this on to that. Just like that. Why not use a sandwich, right, for the oil filter? So I can just thread this on there. Uh, the reason being is uh, I just don't want to spend any more. Yeah. Plus, I'm adding weight if I ever do that. Plus, I found this to be uh, relaxing for me. <laughs> it makes my mind stimulate. Start thinking things. Yeah.
Let's give it a try. I'm not gonna screw it in there all the way because I'm gonna have a hard time <laughs> removing it. <laughs> it has to go on Miley, not on this one. But this is just to show you what it looked like. Okay, something like this. I just need to uh, make some connections here. And that is the idea. As you can see. And this is the oil supply. So it will have a constant flow of hot oil. Alright, so now I just need to put this on Miley. So as the, uh, the gauge. Before I hook everything up, I'm gonna give it a start first. I'm gonna check for leaks before I continue. Here's the plug. The modified plug right here. Oh yeah. That's good. Now the sensor is next. Let me know what you guys think. The placement of the sensor. I think it will be the same thing as if I would have put it on a sandwich, right? Yeah, it will be the same, I think. Okay. That's it. So good. Looks like no leak. I'll buy that. Okay. So I'm good. All pressure is about seventy five. 
so I'm gonna get rid of the uh, boost gauge and use that spot right there I'm gonna leave it running for a while so the wiring is next maybe I don't have to uh, hook up a lot of these hopefully the wiring on this are the same as the one on boost gauge like power and all that negative side then I don't have to uh, put this on it's pre-wired it will be a plug and play but the ground for the uh, sensor I need to uh, establish that and it should be good idle stabilize no leak Nothing. I think I'm good. Might be a bit overkill, but this is the only wiring I have here in the garage. But this will do. Just for security. All right, good to go. All set I'm ready to uh, give this thing a try and let me tidy up a little bit doing all that self test it's noon that'll take a while I guess the reason for the uh, oil temperature, it's because of, uh, remember we are building a hybrid motor here. Something that Honda engineer didn't design. We designed it ourselves. We are the engineers on this one. The more data I will get and lesson I will learn to make sure if we can build a reliable G23, the better it is. This is where I end this video. If you find this episode enjoyable, interesting, and at the same time educational, make sure you like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button and share. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all back next time. Bye everyone. Oh, let's check the uh, oil temperature. Rising. 180 179 something like that that's normal because I heard the uh, the fan turn on so that's 180 degrees I think I will get all the data I'll follow up on it <laughs>